guys, we're gonna learn how to draw inelastic and elastic demand graphs. So let's start. Inelastic demand. How would you draw an inelastic demand? Inelastic means that you are not that sensitive to price changes. So it means that even if the price increases a lot, the quantity demanded only decreases a little bit. Let's put that into a graph. It would be like this. Oh, like this. You see, you can see that even if the price changes from 1, 2, 2 would bring about this much change. So this much change compared to this much. So that's decrease in percentage of quantity demanded of a good is much smaller than increase in percentage of price change. So this is bigger, that means it, it would be smaller than 1, that is inelastic. Perfectly inelastic demand. Perfectly inelastic means that you don't even care about the price. Whatever price they charge, you will pay and you'll buy it. The perfectly inelastic demand looks like this. Looks like an eye. You know, eye for inelastic. <laughs> eye for an inelastic. Perfectly inelastic demand. So an example could be, let's say that someone has gotten really, really sick and the only cure that they can have is, is some medicine. Where is the medicine? So the only cure they can have is this pill. It's actually a vitamin C, but let's say that this is a panacea that can cure anything. And this pill will make you perfectly healthy again. Then that person would be willing to pay almost any price because he wants to maintain his life. We can be asked to draw a perfectly inelastic graph. And also, let's just eat this. <laughs> and also, they can ask you to calculate the elasticity of a perfectly inelastic graph. It's simple because that's percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. So if, if you put that into a perfectly inelastic graph, price change would be infinite, but quantity demanded would be zero. Quantity demanded will be zero in perfectly inelastic demand. So per price change can be infinite and the percentage in quantity demanded doesn't change at all. That's a zero. That makes a zero. If you were asked to calculate the elasticity of a perfectly inelastic graph, just put a zero and make a lollipop. <laughs> It looks like a lollipop, so it's an easy way to remember. Perfectly inelastic graph looks like an eye, and the elasticity of a perfectly inelastic graph is zero, so it makes a lollipop like this. Cute, huh? <laughs> now that we have learned elastic and perfectly inelastic graphs, we can draw elastic and perfectly elastic graphs really easily. So elastic demand itself will look like this. It's more like lying down. So inelastic graph is an eye and elastic demand would be the opposite of that. Elastic demand will go down, down, down a little. So if, let's say the price has increased a little. Price has increased a little. The quantity demanded decreased a lot. So in proportion, because prices, percentage change of price is smaller and percentage change in quantity is bigger so that makes a uh, elasticity of demand that is more than one that would be elastic demand perfectly elastic demand so when you're asked to draw a perfectly elastic demand it looks like this because people are so sensitive to price change they will only buy this good at a certain price in reality this graph is non-existent but just in theory it would be an example could be like a grain of rice it's so small and there are so many products that are the same you're not going to pay anything more than maybe a 0 0.0001 cents for a one grain of rice that could be a perfectly in perfectly elastic demand and you could also be asked so they could also ask you elasticity of this perfectly elastic demand you would say it's infinite because the price like for example start again let's say the price changes a little like one percent but the quantity demanded will change infinitely so infinite percentage of change in quantity demanded that would make an infinite in uh, infinite elasticity of demand 
So if you're asked to calculate the elasticity of demand for a perfectly elastic demand, that would be infinity.